Hello friends, in this video we will see some more problems based on profit and loss. So let us consider if the cost price of the cost price of 12 pencils 12 pencils is equal to selling price of 8 pencils selling price of 8 pencils so find the gain percentage we have to find the gain percentage ok so the cost price of 12 pencils is equivalent to selling price of 8 pencils then we have to find the gain percentage ok so let us assume the cost price of each pencil the cost price of each pencil equivalent to 1 rupee is 1 rupee so then Consider this one, the selling price of 8 pencils. So, if 8 pencils are there, the cost price of 8 pencils is cost price of 8 pencils equivalent to how much? 8 rupees. Why? Because we assume the cost price of each pencil is 1 rupee. So, then the cost price of 8 pencils is equal to 8 rupees. So, then the selling price of 8 rupees, selling price of 8 pencils, equivalent to according to the given question the selling price of 8 pencils is equivalent to cost price of 12 pencils so that means the cost price of 12 pencils is how much each pencil is 1 rupee cost then it is 12 rupees so if you see these two statements whenever he is buying he is buying 8 pencils for 8 rupees but whenever he is selling he is selling 8 pencils for 12 rupees so so if you observe this one here the selling price of 8 pencils is greater than the cost price of 8 pencils ok so that means there is a gain is there so the gain percentage is given by gain gain by cost price so here the cost price is 8 and the gain is 12 minus 8 so that is 4 into 100 so 1 by 2 is equal to 50 percentage gain is there ok 50 percent gain is there so I hope you got this one. So we will see one example, uh, another example, same like uh, this question only. Okay. So for example, so the cost price of 19 books is equivalent to selling price of 16 books. Okay. Selling price of 16 books. We have to find the gain percent have to find the gain percentage right so let us assume the cost price of each book is equal 1 rupee ok 1 rupee so in this case the cost price of 16 books ok cost price of 16 books is going to be cost price of 16 books equal to 16 rupees okay and then the selling price of 16 books equal to selling price of 16 books is equal to cost price of 19 books the cost price of 19 books is going to be 19 rupees okay so the cost price of 16 books is 16 rupees and the selling price of 16 books is 19 rupees so obviously the selling price is greater than cost price for 16 books okay so that means there is a gain is there so the gain percentage is calculated by so gain percentage is equal to gain gain by cost price so what is the gain so for 16 rupees he is selling for 19 the gain is 19 minus 16 so that is 3 by that is cost price 16 into 100 ok so into 100 so this is going to be ok 2 8 ja and 2 50 and 2 4 ja 2 25 ja ok 25 3 is 75 by 4 75 by 4 so if you take this one so 4 1 is 4 4 8 is 32 4 into 8 is 32 so that is left 3 by 4 percentage so 18 3 by 4 percentage gain 18, 4 per, 18 3 by 4 percentage is the gain so this is the way to solve the problems uh, this kind of uh, problem ok so 
whenever you get this kind of the cost price of some items is equal to selling price of uh, some more items like this one whenever the problem is in this format so you can use this processor to solve that kind of problem so i hope you got this one thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel